now then, welcome back to another episode on the Terra Firma Punk server, playing some more Terra Firma Punk 2.0. Today I am on my own. But what has been done? So much has been done, so much has been achieved, and yet I kind of feel like in this episode 8 that I haven't actually achieved much at all. So today I'm just kind of taking stock on what I've done so far. In the uh, short time that we've been on the server, things have been popping up. There's buildings there, buildings there, there's farms over there, there's this thing that I did last episode. Uh, I finished off the roof, by the way. Let me just show you the, the finished roof, the finished article. It's now looking very swish, look. It's got the stairs going up and over, just keeping it all nice and uh, neat looking. But I put a thatch roof on to make it look kind of rural, even though it doesn't look like any particular building ever made because, well, I kind of just used the blocks that I had available. So, I've got this warehouse area. I've got a little bit of storage out here of my own personal things. Stuff that I've been picking up along the way. Including this flintlock blunderbuss. Which I'd like to do something with today, if I can. Uh, and various things. I've got five full hearts in this ceramic vessel and a quest book. But I do already have ten lives still. So I've still got ten lives. Uh, I got a few other bits and pieces in here. Nothing, nothing major, but it's kind of like building supplies and stuff, and lots of bits and pieces that I've been picking up from quests and stuff, uh, including a wither skeleton skull, which I got from a reward bag, I believe, which is pretty awesome and epic and lovely. I like it. Uh, all sorts of bits and pieces. Uh, Junk Island is starting to be thinned out. Starting to be thinned out, and by starting, I mean. I've started thing thinning it out. Stock-wise, uh, as this is taking stock of things, all of this building materials, all of the stone materials and stuff, I have been collating and grabbing everything that we've got already and bringing it over here and sorting it all out. But now I've also finished this section. Well, I say finished, there's a few chests here that don't have any labels on as such. Um, but I've been working through what can be done with what. So, uh, gravel. The uses of gravel for a sieve. There's loads of bits and pieces. And it's heavy as well. It's heavy ores. It's good stuff. Chunks of lapis and flower pots. And all this Steamcraft 2 uh, pennies and farthings and stuff. Some redstone repeaters and red pipe wires and stuff like that. Nuggets are fairly important. Zinc nuggets, musket balls, metal chains, wrought iron links, more terra firma craft ores, and a teapot. Oh yes, love to get a teapot. Empty glass bottles and all sorts of bits from a, a sieve. Sieving gravel is possibly the best thing we can do. Sieving dirt, on the other hand, is just getting seeds. So uh, sieving dirt isn't really a thing that we want to do because we've got plenty of seeds. But I have put a little chest down here, dirty seeds, just for any seeds that do get left over and are lying around. I don't think one wolf needs any over at the farm, but if he does need some, then there's going to be some dirt here. Also, dirt's for terraforming, so we've got that supplies here, stock. And sand, when we sieve it, it gives us a potential chance of getting dust, but also a few native nuggets and some redstone, leadstone... From magne Magnetic Craft. I don't really know much about Magnetic Craft. But I'm guessing it's going to be something to do with magnets. And doing stuff like that. We've got a fair amount of Magnetic Craft dusts already stocked up. Including Diamond Dust. Which, uh, what can we do with Diamond Dust? Can we make a diamond with Diamond Dust? Well, we can make stuff in a carpenter to make a, a Buildcraft laser. Yeah, carpenters and therm uh, thermionic fabricators are kind of the things that we need to get to. And I don't think we're there right now. I don't think we're there quite yet. A carpenter, here we go. Look. So to craft a carpenter, which then you use to craft all sorts of things, we need sturdy gearbox, mechanical saw, brass springs, servo arms, and bronze gears. Now, bronze gears need sheet of bronze and a bronze link in an anvil bronze link is a bronze coil in an anvil bronze coil is bronze double ingots in an anvil so it's a fairly and it's a bronze angles anvil as well so it's a fairly 
difficult recipe just to make the gears. Then the servo arms of all these cylinders, the cogwheels and the brass boards and the spanner and oh my days, there's a long-winded process to get to the carpenter. So I don't think I'm going to be doing any of that today. So uh, we're not going to get to that point yet, but we will get to it. And when we do get to a carpenter, we're going to need to power it and all that kind of stuff, which is going to be kind of odd and strange to try and figure out. Uh, but I do have some ideas. The flintlock bundabus. Let's just take a look at this. This is something that we do have kind of a stock of because in here I've got some iron nuggets from Railcraft. I believe the iron nuggets uh, we can get from... Why would you give me this in my inventory? Uh, we can get from sieving gravel. So sieving gravel is a big deal to get iron nuggets. And once we've got the iron nuggets... Oh, look at that. Give me this. Silly inventory tweak things. Uh, once we look at this, flax beards, at flax, there are these musket cartridges for the flintlock blunderbuss. I think it's a musket cartridge that we need. I'm guessing there's a... There's a Flintlock musket, there's a pistol, and there's a blunderbuss. Uh, I'm wondering if the blunderbuss has anything else that it needs, but I think these musket cartridges kind of work for all of them, to be honest. I think. Well, we're going to make some anyway, because it just takes a little bit of gunpowder, a couple of iron nuggets, and a couple of bits of paper to make a musket cartridge. So I want to give that a go. I believe that somewhere we have the technology... And I've been getting these blunderbusses from over at the mob farm, which is another cool little thing that's still running nicely. And I might do a little bit more with next episode. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get fully into flax this episode, but there are some bits and pieces for flaxes, like uh, the boiler, that we can get started on for next episode. Getting a brick oven and all that kind of stuff. Maybe, maybe we'll do it today. Maybe we'll do it today. Um, oh, there's a couple of uh, paper. Cool. So now I just need to find some gunpowder from somewhere, and I should be able to make the first cartridge. Uh, over at the little junk island over here, we've still got a lot of random stuff. A lot of random stuff that hasn't been sorted yet. Uh, so I'm just going to have a quick look through for any, 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 anything at all that is gunpowder-like. Uh, I don't see <laughs> I don't see any gunpowder. We've got to have killed creepers, so we've got to have found some gunpowder somewhere. I just don't know where people may have put it. That's the problem with this at the minute. Uh, there's some pottery down here, and I never know what's in the pots until we open them. No, and that's a ceramic jug. No, I don't want that. What's in here? Grand, da, da, some stuff that I should probably take over to the stock room, but nothing that I can actually use right now. I just need that one piece of gunpowder. Have we got no good... Ah, yeah, we have. Look at that. Lovely. Some gunpowder. Okay, so let's craft up a blunderbuss ammo and hope that it works. Because I would like to kind of focus on this, if possible, with these musket cartridges. Uh, gunpowder, as long as we can find something in the mob farms to give us gunpowder... Uh, then that's good, and then we've got um, we've got the sieving of gravel to get us the iron nuggets. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's everything. Okay, so can I uh, can I load it? It seems to be loading. It seems to be loading, and yep, it's used up a musket cartridge. So it's definitely musket cartridges for the blunderbuss. So that's nice. And it's getting to be night time, so I want to see ha just how much damage the blunderbuss does over here before we head on out to the mob farm. And uh, yeah, I think I'll probably grab the bits and pieces together that we can do to get the first uh, Flaxbeard steam boiler done. And I'll probably do it over there because to use the steam boiler in particular, uh, it's a good idea to have some reason to use the steam. And all that armor that we're getting from the pig farm, it's probably a good idea to use that. Okay, we've got, we got zombie over here somewhere. Where is he? Is he down or is he up? What are you doing? Where are you? There he is. Okay, so what health is he on at the minute? Eisenhower is on 1386. Okay, let's get a good clean shot. 
Whoa! Eisenhower down, man. Eisenhower down in a single shot. 1386 in a single shot. Now I just want to find something that's got more for the second shot. Wow. That was pretty, pretty boss, isn't it? This blunderbuss is pretty boss. So getting, a, getting the ammo for this is awesome. Let's see. Jack is nothing. Jack is only on 902. So we know we can beat Jack. Sorry, Jack, but we know we know we can beat you. You've got nothing on me. Um, but let's find the creeper. There's a creeper over here, according to that. Spiders, what do you get? You only get like 500. I can bla blatantly beat you up without even breaking a sweat. And definitely don't need the blunderbuss for you guys. And oh, I think... I think the creeper just disappeared from me. From view. Okay. Uh... Punk, you are literally 900, so there's no point. 13. Th 1300 was the score for the blunderbuss right now. That was cool. And what are you looking at? You were 2000 when you were first created. That would be nice to see. You are nothing, Chris. You can have nothing. Still well. Yeah, I'll just finish you off quick. There you go. Die. I want to find something now that's bigger and better. Uh, that guy there is sparkling a little bit. He's No, he's still just a Chris and a Rob. Chris and a Rob. No, just take him out. Nothing. I got the Jester hat now. Though. What are you like? Uh, you're not full health. Why are you not full health, man? I want the full health, guys. And there's a creeper down here. So let's go and kill the creeper with a blunderbuss. See what happens. Uh, you, kobolds, you're nothing as well. <laughs> We're so good at fighting now. We got all the stuff. Uh, whoa, 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 red caps. That's having a good go, wasn't he? There we go. All right, and can we get out of here? Sit well down. Jack the buckets. Get out of my face, Jack. And Tom. Whoa, there goes the creeper. I wanted to shoot the creeper. I didn't want to blow the creeper up. Oh, well. it doesn't look like we're going to get a good. Uh, challenge is it? This blunderbuss looks pretty epic. Ah, oh, there's a witch just around the corner. There's a witch just around the corner. And this spider was pretty hard, but I didn't see it in time. Okay, witch just around the corner here, and she's only a thousand. Oh, she made me jump. She made me move. <laughs> she made me waste my shot. Oh man, did you see that? Okay, okay, let's get out of here. Let's go go sleep quick. Uh, I think I probably need to get into here. Just uh, heal back up again. Thank you. Shooter. Shoot her now. No, don't do instant damage. No, she's going to kill me. Nope, she's going to kill me. No. No. Can I get any health back off this? Come on, come on. Get out of here fast. Oh, the poison stopped. The poison stopped. I can get away. I can escape. I can escape. 58 health. Do not need to be dying right now. What? Okay. And can we get some sleep in here? Can we can we get in here before anybody comes and gets me? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's say yes. I get sleep. Oh man. Okay, so uh no health. This is good. This is great, isn't it? No health. Got to do a bit of regen network on me. And then I'll start hunting around for all the bits and pieces that we need to get some flax beards on the go. And then I want to get some more sieving done. I want to get a load of gravel. So do we have a decent shovel around? I might have to make myself a decent shovel as well. Uh, but we'll deal with that in a little while once I've regenerated my health and I'm feeling back up to it again i basically spent the whole day in the hot tub the whole day in a hot tub man a oh man a oh man a oh man looks like we're safe now though uh i just slept through the night so that no mob spawned last night because i don't have any st anything for my blunderbuss right now i've got enough gunpowder and iron nuggets to make some more stuff and i'm sure i can make some paper over here so I figured I would get the blunderbuss sorted out. I'm sure those lycanite mobs will be pretty dang 
hard down in the third level of that dungeon that we got stuck in. We kind of got stuck there, didn't we? But having a blunderbuss with a load of ammo may be the solution. So I want to get a good stock of blunderbuss ammo. So me and the boys can have blunderbuss ammo and blunderbusses when we next go on a massive adventure over there. Aha. Uh -huh. So, lots of reeds. Do reeds just make paper the same as they did before? No, of course not. Uh, uses of a reed, four to make paper. Okay, well, there's something. I don't mind that. I'll just grab loads of paper, because I can. And then we've got the gunpowder and the iron nuggets. So I can make four or uh, eight more cartridges for my muck skit. That's good. I like that. I like that I can do that at least. There we go. And where are we keeping the sugar cane? Well, I'll put the reeds in there for now. And I'll take one of these empty pots and I'll see if I can put the flintlock, yes I can, and the muskets in there, yeah, and the uh, ingredients to make more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's have one musket, uh, two muskets on me. Actually, let's just have one musket on me. Can I load this flintlock up now? If I load it up now, then does it stay loaded? Yeah, okay. It also has a damage indicator there, so durability goes down every time I use it. But if I put it there, it, it is still... Yeah, it's ready to fire. That's good. So I put it in with my stuff here. Uh, until then, though, I will just try and use the arrows as much as I can. Just to get used to how the arrows work and all that kind of stuff. But I will also figure out the musket fire. Uh, I don't really need an axe. Why have I got a stone axe here? I don't know. Let's throw the stone axe out of here. Uh, yep, yeah, up there I'll do. So, I need a good shovel to get a load of gravel. And so, where will I find a good shovel? Uh, I actually want to keep that fence because I want to use that later. Brass sheets, I want to use that in the next episode because there's some stuff that I want to do over there. Coal and stuff I need to put away. That's terra firma craft coal and that's normal coal. Uh huh. Okay, no problem. And we've got some reeds in here as well. Alright, so I need to make a decent shovel. So, terra firma punk making shovel. Mm hmm. Not really done a lot of terra firma punk since we've uh, been playing on here. Well, not a terra firma craft, should I say, more than terra firma punk. Uh, let's see if we've got anything in these. I am kind of paying the iron price for everything at the minute. If it's available, I will steal it. I will take it from the random stuff that we've got over here. A lot of the guys are doing a lot of the work uh, to get all the terra firma craft stuff done that I've already pretty much felt like I've covered in season one already. Uh, so some of it is just kind of mundane stuff that we do. Just picking up sticks and stones and doing all that kind of stuff. But... Spud has now got this beautiful blacksmith's all set up. And it's quite quite impressive with all this stone as the ceiling and all that. Uh, but I do need to make a shovel. A decent shovel. And there doesn't appear to be any around here. So what are we going to make it out of? Um, and what is that? An alloy calculator. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That's cool. Uh, we'll do with flaxes in the next episode. But what... What have we got lying around, materials-wise, that I can use up? Uh, silver's probably not going to be a good one. I think I just want a decent copper shovel. So, there's some native copper in here. I know we've got an ingot over there of copper. But I will make my own. Uh, we've got a bloomery. I think this is a bloomery. Yeah, it's a bloomery. And we've also got these things in here. Crucibles. Oh, yeah. Crucibles with 100% bronze in that one. And this one is currently empty. So if I put that in there, yes, I can. And down below, there's some copper ingots already for me. But I don't really want to put the copper in. So I'm going to take the copper out. Uh, it has been worked. Oh, he's already worked them. Okay, well, I'll have to keep them in my inventory out of the way because they've already worked. Uh, and then smelt it down again. Or do I want to go to the basics? Should I do the basics first? Yeah, let's let's look at the basics first. Okay. So I'm going to go and set myself up with a little uh, basic making something in Terra Firma Craft for you. And we'll get to all this another time when I'm maybe making alloys of some kind. All right. Well, there doesn't appear to be any clay 
anywhere at base at the minute. I don't know why. We probably used it all up. That's why. Uh, but this is kind of our clay supply, I guess, at the minute. So I'm going to grab some clay so that I can nap some clay and then put the recipe in to be able to make some fired clay um, to make a shovel head. So I'm using a shovel to make a shovel. Yes, that's how it works in this game, people. But I'll grab a little bit more while I'm here. Just because. Hey, bunny. How you doing? Forest bunny. <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple of bunnies in the uh, blacksmiths that uh, Spud's captured and put behind some glass. Um, I, I can't remember what their names were, but I think I had a little giggle when I found out that they were called what they're called. Uh, let's just have a quick look. I, I can't believe there's no no moulds in here. There's no moulds in here other than ingot moulds. Uh, and I can't even see those now. Now there's ingot moulds. Yeah, there's only ingot moulds in here. Which is kind of strange, but still. And yeah, we've got Bill and Ted, the bodacious bunnies. Bill and Ted, I hope they have an excellent adventure. Oh yeah, so oh, yes, I threw that one in. Uh, but we're going to go over to the, the Junk Island, because this is where we've been having our pit kilns all the way through. So I'm kind of just showing you what you may have missed from other people's videos. Stuff that I haven't even been bothered to do in this series yet, in this season. I have literally been pay paying the iron price for everything. Uh, so for a start, we need to do a, a shovel. So to get a shovel mould, we need to do this pattern, napping from five clay. So we've got to get five clay, which we've got 23 clay. So we've got plenty of clay. And we nap out what the where the metal is going to sit in the clay mould. Right? And that would end up giving us this clay mould, which is needed into a pit kiln. And as you can see here, there's the straw and then the wood. So let's make a little pit kiln. No... I did not want to do that. I wanted to do that. There we go. And also, uh, at the same time, which might not be the best idea, but at the same time, I want to put some units of that in. Uh, 25 units, so 100 units in total should probably fill this up. Uh, let's see. Copper, shovel head, shapeless crafting. Uh, it doesn't tell me how much exactly I need to put in there. So, okay, let's put a little bit more in. Let's put 200 in. I don't know how much it is, so let's put 200 in. And let's just stock this up. So, it's a simple process, but it takes a little while to do. You right-click with the straw, which is basically you use a, a knife on long grass, or, in my case, a scythe on long grass to get that done. And then you right-click it into there. And then you right-click wood into there to cover it over. And then you light it with a fire starter. No surprise. Fire starter. Come on. Light it up. There we go. And then you just leave it to burn. So I'll leave it to burn. Waiting. Waiting. And of course, as soon as I wake up morning-wise, it's been burning all night. So it's then there okay so the mold no 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 give me the mold give me the mold give me the mold this has been a while since i've done this right the, this copper 200 units of copper i can put the mold inside there and yeah it's only 100 units of copper it requires so i was right the first time for that but that's good and do we have what's what's this here this is a sword mold i don't want a sword mold i don't want to use a sword mold but there was this in here that was lurking around and has been for a while. Unshaped copper. There we go. So let's take this and put that into there. Fill that up. There we go. We can take that as well. Just because we may as well use it up. And then we can put some more copper. No, we can't put any more copper in there. So I really need to pour it out somewhere as well, don't I? I need to pour it out. But there are no more of these that I can use. And I don't know where they all are. But anyway. That's not really my concern. This copper is cheap anyway, because we get copper from the sieving, so I'm going to get tons of copper. We've already got a load of copper from a copper mine, so I'm not worried about wasting this little bit of copper over here. Uh, but I would like to not waste it, if possible. It would be nice not to waste it, if possible. So, uh, there was one... Whoa! 
your place is not safe. Sput, sput, your place is not safe. Minotaur, die. Wow, such a boss fight. Uh, yeah, let's let's put the rest of that in there. That is cooling down. Let's put that in there. And yeah, I'm going to put that in there as well. <laughs> Just so it can be dealt with later. Uh, and now the shovel mold here. If I take it out of the mold, the mold dies, but I get the shovel head. Right? And now all I need to do is get a stick, and I've got myself a shovel. Which, making sticks is easy enough, isn't it? Sticks and stones, there we go. There's a stick. There's loads kicking around all over the place because we just keep picking them up all over the place. But now I have a good copper shovel instead of this stone shovel. And I should be able to get myself a load of gravel. Now, just over this way. Whoop, jump, jump. Yes. Uh, the way that we keep wandering every time we're heading to the adventure zone, this area over here, there's a lot of gravel on the beach over here. So I'm thinking that I could literally just take a ton of gravel all off this edge round here. Take a load of gravel off this beach. Dig it all up. Take it back. Sieve it for iron nuggets. Get as much iron nuggets as I can that way. When we've started getting iron ingots, we can smash iron ingots with a hammer to make iron nuggets quickly as well. So that'll be good. And then we can get going on with making tons and tons of blunderbuss ammo for the next level of the roguelike dungeon. But I also want to have a look at the Flaxbeard Steam stuff. Some more Flaxbeard Steam stuff. So I'm going to start preparing for next episode. And I think I'm going to build a little something over by the mob farm so that we can steam charge our armor exosuits. That's the plan anyway. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. I will see you very soon for some more Terra Firma Punks 2.0.